Hey, welcome to the channel today. I'm about to check out Tier Zoo, America's secret top tier animal. Damn. I was about to say something crazy, but that okay, not something crazy, but I was gonna just go out and just shoot animals. Whoa, 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 whoa. Before people take that ish out of context, I was gonna say like pick um popular animals, like I don't know, a bear, I don't know, chinchilla, I don't know, something, but this is secret top tier animal, so it's something you wouldn't suspect definitely not an eagle um a what a moose elk i'm gonna go for a moose because yeah i'm gonna go for a moose because they're strong they're fast they're always on demon o'clock so yeah with that said if y'all enjoyed the vid um let me know what y'all think it is this that, that, that. oh I, I figured it out ants so no but they said animal yeah, I'm going with the moose. So yeah, no. Jaguar. No, no. Puma. No. Mountain lion. Whatever, man. So yeah, whatever. With that, say if you enjoyed the video, like, comment, share, yada, yada. Whatever, man. Whatever. <laughs> I forget that this has that it does gaming does references. Low tier trash. The fastest yeah, I mean, land yeah. build in the game has a ton of flaws in its game plan. Yeah. Which you could learn about in this video here if you like. Yeah. But enough about cheetahs. What about the second fastest? Do you even know what it is? No. How does it stack up against its competition? I talk a lot on this channel about how overpowered the animals in the Africa server are. And while that's certainly true, the North America server also has its fair share of builds with ridiculously OP stats. Okay, let's hear it. Including one little known build with the second fastest run speed in the entire game. You might expect it to be a type of big cat, maybe a close relative of the cheetah, like the mountain lion, or perhaps a type of servant like a deer or elk. Ooh, but already got two for two. The smallest member of the giraffe. Oh, sure. I mean, they said it's not. One but... that most players probably wait. This is to hold be... up, hold up. Is this the one? It's the, uh, the it was the other one that there was two in the previous video he mentioned. Oh cop! No, it wasn't that. It was it was another one. It was small. Then I said its horns looks like a fucking beetle. They they are fucking kind. Imagine fucking be. <sighs> yeah, it looked like it looked like it had the fucking rhinoceros beetle horns on it. Yeah, I remember that son of a yeah, that that sob that sob related to the giant that we know and it's love. It's the the American pronghorn. That bitch. Yeah. The pronghorn may not look like much, but it sports some pretty impressive stats, including the second highest base mobility stat of any terrestrial animal, Okay. with only the cheetah having a higher top speed. This makes it faster than every other build in the North America server by a substantial margin. Okay. Pumas, bears, and even wolves have essentially zero shot at closing the distance to a pronghorn player. Oh, could never be cheetahs. Pronghorns have much more endurance than most predators and are able to maintain these high speeds for significant distances, mm, not just spamming. short sprints as most predators do. Pronghorns also have horns on their head which can deal decent damage in a pinch, although it's pretty rare that actually need to use them for anything other than dueling against each other. Still, <laughs> these sharp, keratinized horns <laughs> definitely do some damage. Pronghorns aren't particularly stealthy because of their bright white back end. However, even with how noticeable they are, them, if you yeah. ever see a pronghorn, it's yeah. almost certain it yeah. sees you first. Their eyes are incredibly sensitive and can detect movement from four miles away. Jeez. Because of their huge field of view, this makes it borderline impossible to sneak up on a pronghorn. Sheesh. Unless your build has some insane Sheesh. high level. So like, it doesn't even matter if, yeah, you're not, you're not catching up to it. You're, you're scuffed. You're scuffed. Makes it borderline yeah, you're scuffed. 300 degrees. Yeah, you're Unless scuffed. your build has some insanely high level stealth abilities. Pronghorns have one of the lowest HP stats of any North American ungulate. Damn. They, of course, share a server with builds so it's like, like a glass cannon and buffalo, all with a massive health bar, making them near impossible to bring down solo. Mm. Conversely, pronghorns rely entirely so hold up, hold up. on their speed stat. Which, what, what, and what? All with a lowest HP stats of any North American ungulate. I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. They, of course, share a server with builds like the elk, moose, and buffalo. Okay. All with a massive health bar, making them near impossible to bring down solo. Conversely, pronghorns rely entirely on their speed stat to keep them safe. Glass they can't cannons. Really afford to take well, any damage at all. For the most part, the pronghorns generally. Glass speedsters, I guess. Great. I don't know. 
Because they have the ruminant ability, their food is abundant as they're able to digest grass, shrubs, and even cacti if necessary. Damn! They also are able to consume plants that are toxic to builds like sheep, cattle, and horses, meaning they don't usually compete for resources with livestock. And yeah, so as long good. as they don't get careless, pronghorns are usually able to evade most conflict. So why is the pronghorn so uniquely fast? Its immense speed stat legitimately feels like overkill. Jeez. And I would argue that in Jeez. a current meta, it absolutely is. Sheesh. However, the pronghorn has been one of North America's top survivalists for a long time. Yeah, and for a good reason. patches and expansions. And during the Younger Dryas expansion, there were additional, speedier mm -hmm. threats that the pronghorn player base had to contend with. Mm. Namely, the American Lion and American Cheetah. Oh, shit. These Felid builds were extremely dangerous to a lightweight, evasive style build like the pronghorn. The American Cheetah, in particular, had a max speed stat roughly equivalent to its African and Asian counterparts, mm. but was also bigger and bulkier than the modern Cheetah. Mm. And so during that particular ranked season, the pro- I gotta check out, I gotta look up a picture of, I haven't seen, I haven't seen an Asian Cheetah before, but I gotta check out um, how the American Cheetah and American Lion looked. If you show me a, if you show me a saber too, Tiger, I'm gonna be disappointed a little bit. Longhorn but. wisely opted to max out its speed and endurance in order to evade attacks from these American felids. Mm. However, these felids were banned with the launch of the Holocene balance patch, leaving the pronghorn hugely overtuned for its remaining competition. <laughs> Still, this didn't mean automatic success for the pronghorn. In fact, their player count was dwindling up until very recently. <laughs> yeah, what the, fuck? the reason for this is that pronghorns are extremely poor vertical jumpers, and so they're heavily impeded by any sort of barrier. Damn. They require open terrain with good visibility in order to remain competitively viable. Damn. So when human players started constructing barriers made of oh, sharp they metal, got things hold. got really dangerous really fast for the pronghorn. They got Most hold. of the herbivore builds in the North American meta can easily clear the vertical of an average barbed wire fence, but pronghorn players usually opt to crawl under barriers if possible. Damn. Because of the pronghorn's low HP stat, even relatively mild chip damage from barbed wire fences that can is not lethal damage to a That's not funny, bro. This issue was really frustrating to deal with as a pronghorn main, and so most of them just opted to play characters with better vertical mobility. But eventually, the human player base realized how unfair this tech was and opted to self-impose a ban on the tech in important yeah, areas. Cause, yeah, As a result, a the much. pronghorn player race has recovered massively and is no longer at risk of collapsing. Mm. So I don't know if I can quite give them an S-tier rank. Yeah, Since they're highly vulnerable they, yeah, to disruption, they can jump any sort it's... of major balance patch imposes a lot of barriers into their territory. True. In addition to the obvious things like human structures, like roads and fences, any increase in woodland biomes would also severely hamper their ability to detect predators or run for long distances to escape. Mm. This is the main reason why pronghorns, despite still being faster than any of their potential competition, have failed to make an impact in biomes with less open spaces, mm. such as the woodland tundra biome of the backcountry of Canada, or the jungles of Central America, where stealth-based builds like the puma and jaguar have more of an advantage. Now, to be I fair, having be a favorable Ooh, matchup for one shot isn't saying much. One they shots. are the undisputed top-tier predator throughout the entirety of the Central and South American jungle biome. But it would Ooh. be impressive to see them diversify their playstyle a bit to see if they could be more competitive in less open terrain, yeah. as their other giraffoid ancestors used to be. Oh, fuck. Especially since the pronghorn's other main weakness is made worse by the fact that they spend time in completely open spaces. Really? That weakness being their vulnerability to aerial attacks. With no tree cover, no pronghorns have nowhere to hide from the one predator that actually is able to keep up with them, the Golden Eagle. They may be the second fastest land build in the game, but if you include flying builds, most birds beat this speed pretty easily, especially predatory birds. Still, it's hard not to respect a build that managed to adapt so effectively Bro, okay, that strategy so for I guess them eagles are built different because one time, if I'm not mistaken, I don't know where I saw it, maybe it was part of, maybe it's like, during my reactions of these um, vids, I'm guessing, probably. But like an eagle yeeted. Was it a deer? Like, it yeeted. Was it a... No way it was an elk. But was it a mountain goat? It yeeted something off a mountain. Off a cliff to its death in order... Yeah, bro. Demon o'clock, bro. Countered these the game plan of the bro. main opponents. Driving them to complete and total irrelevancy. Then again, is it really that big a flex that a variant of the Cheetah build ended up not being viable in the current mm. meta? I wouldn't be that surprised if, given enough time, 
the African antelope manes also started specking into higher speed or greater bulk. Jeez, then after that, you're the whole. African cheetah's only favorable matchup. Anyways, I have them bitches fast, bro. The pronghorn, the rank of A tier. Damn. This video is brought to you by my next video on rhinos, already up on Nebula. Pronghorns are successful despite having some of the smallest horns in the game. Mm. They're pretty much the polar opposite of the rhinoceros. I've mentioned the rhino in passing several times in recent videos, but I've never made an entire video dedicated to discussing Ooh, Yeah, I remember, I remember this video. Pieces. That was like... That yeah, is that until can't... now. I've got an entire video all about the rhino. It'll hit YouTube in a few months, but the full thing is already released on Nebula. Nebula is a streaming service owned and operated by and for creators like Well, me. yeah, I mean, shout out to you, bro. You know, you're in your bag. Hold up, hold up, let me just, just in case. Like real life lore's modern conflicts, which explores modern wars that couldn't possibly be captured. Okay, so... Is that it? But yeah, so yeah, man. Um, so far, I'm not fucking with it because first and foremost, Beetle, it's... It's related to the beetle in some weird way. Okay, it's not it's not related to it, but it's just the horns and it's not that I don't like the beetle, it's just I don't like those who represent them. That that's just okay, and I don't it's nothing I'm not saying I don't like the people that represent them, but the people that represent them are doing too much, is what I'm saying. That's just that's what I'm gonna say. They cool, but they do too much. But essentially, aside from that. Okay, okay, by the way, that shit is just an inside. If you know, you know. But yeah, aside from that, that's actually crazy. They're like, they get one shot. E okay, I'm not saying they get one shot, but they get one shot easily. But of course, speed carries them. But unfortunately, all you gotta do is bag these creatures into a corner and then they're hold. Just like that. GG's. Get good. Can jump. But that doesn't mean I'm gonna keep up or catch up to it. But I could just... Whatever. So, yeah, man, with that said, if you enjoyed the video, like, comment, share, subscribe. Let me know which video to check out next. And I'm gonna do so, but for now, I'm gonna see you guys when I see you guys. So, see ya.